Yo, Jay Blaine here. You think you know the Flipper Zero? It's that cyber multi-tool, the Hacker Swiss Army Knife that's a beast with RFID, key fobs, and basically any remote control you point at it. It's a master of the radio waves. But what if I told you its more powerful feature has nothing to do with radio at all? What if its biggest secret could give it the keys to the entire internet? There's a feature hiding in plain sight that most users have never even touched. It's a secret that transformed this pocket-sized gadget from a local gadget into a global powerhouse. I'm talking about Flipper HTTP, and today, we're going to uncover it. I'll show you exactly how to unlock this feature step-by-step step and turn your Flipper Zero into a web-connected beast that can talk to pretty much any online service. This is the upgrade that takes the Flipper to a whole new level. So what even is Flipper HTTP? Don't let the name scare you. Simply put, Flipper HTTP is a software library I created to let your Flipper Zero connect to the internet. Think of it like a translator that teaches your Flipper to speak web or HTTP, the same language your browser uses to load websites. This little piece of software is the bridge between the Flipper's hardware and the massive world of online data. Normally your Flipper is an offline tool. Its power is stuck in your immediate area, limited to the signals and gadgets around you. That's the whole deal, right? Interacting with the physical world. Well, Flipper HTTP completely shatters that limitation. It turns your Flipper from an island into a continent. With an internet connection, you can now run apps that check live stock prices, get weather updates, post to social media, or even control your smart home projects, all from this tiny device. This is a total game changer. I started this as a personal project and thanks to the efforts of the incredible open source community, this feature has blossomed. It's not just for the official Wi-Fi dev board either. My library supports a ton of other hardware, including the Pico Calc, the Raspberry Pi Pico W, the BW16, and the brand new ESP32C5 which just makes it accessible for almost anyone. By giving the Flipper the power to send and receive HTTP requests, it can download files, talk to APIs, and even crawl websites. This isn't some gimmick, it's a massive expansion of what the device can do, turning it from a cool hardware toy into a serious tool for online interaction. Ready to give your Flipper its passport to the internet? Let's get it set up, and it's way easier than it sounds. First, here's what you'll need. Your Flipper Zero, a compatible Wi-Fi board. The official Flipper Zero dev board is the easiest option, but like I said, Boards like the Raspberry Pi Pico W or the Pico Calc, the BW16 work great too. Lastly, you need a data USB cable to hook everything up to your computer. Our first big step is to flash the Flipper HTTP firmware onto your Wi-Fi board. This is what actually installs the internet connecting magic onto the hardware. First, install the ESP Flasher app on your Flipper Zero from the official app catalog at lab.flipper.net. If you're using Momentum or Unleashed for your Flipper Zero firmware, the ESP Flasher app is already installed on your Flipper. Next, head to my official Flipper HTTP GitHub page to download the necessary firmware files. In the Wi-Fi Developer Board folder, find and download these specific files. Flipper HTTP bootloader.bin, Flipper HTTP partitions.bin, and Flipper HTTP firmware A.bin. Now disconnect the Wi Fi dev board from your Flipper and connect the Flipper to your computer. Now open the Q Flipper desktop app, navigate to File Manager, click on SD card, then Apps Data and then ESP Flasher. If you don't see this folder, just run the ESP Flasher app on your Flipper once and it will be created. 
Now just drag and drop the three bin files you downloaded earlier directly into that folder. Time for the main event. Disconnect your flipper from your computer and then power it off. Now carefully connect your Wi-Fi dev board to the GPIO pins on top of your flipper and then power it back on. Now in your GPIO folder, launch the ESP Flasher app. Inside the app, you'll see a menu. Scroll down and select Reset Board, and then wait a few seconds. Then hit back and scroll down and click Enter Bootloader Mode, and wait for the message waiting for download to appear on the screen before going back. Now go up and select Flash ESP. If you don't see that option, choose manual flash instead. Now scroll down and click bootloader and select the flipper HTTP bootloader.bin file. Then click on part table and scroll down and select flipper HTTP partitions. And then scroll down and click firmware A and select flipper HTTP firmware A. With all three files assigned, scroll down and click Flash Fast. It should only take about 30 seconds to flash the firmware over. And when it's finished, the LED on the developer board will flash green three times. Now our very last step is to press the reset button on the dev board itself. And you're all done. Your flipper is now running my flipper HTTP firmware. To actually get online, you'll use a companion app I made called Flip Wi-Fi. This app lets you scan for networks and then punch in your password and save it. After that, any other Flipper HTTP app will automatically use that network to connect. Okay, the setup is done. Let's see what this thing can actually do. The perfect first app to try is Flip Wi-Fi. It's a simple but awesome showcase of Flipper HTTP's power, connecting to different online APIs to pull info right onto your screen. Within the app, you'll find a few different options. Let's try a random fact. You select it and your flipper through the dev board shoots a request out to an online API. A second later, a random piece of trivia appears. Just like that, your flipper talked to a server, asked for data and showed you the answer. But there's more. Flip Library has a dictionary where you can type in a word to get its definition. It can also pull weather info based on your IP address or even grab real-time stock and crypto prices. Every one of these is a tiny, perfect demo of Flipper HTTP in action. You're not just playing with local signals anymore. You're pulling data from the living, breathing internet. This little toy is now a window to global information. Flip Library is just the start. It's the hello world for a whole new world of Flipper development. The real power of Flipper HTTP is the ecosystem of apps it's creating. This isn't just about pulling info, it's about building interactive connected tools. For example, there's an app called Flip Social. It's a tiny anonymous social feed just for Flipper users that I developed. You can make a simple profile, post short messages, and see what other Flipper owners are up to. It's a wild proof of concept that shows how these devices can build their own online community. 
Then there's the Flip Downloader app, a marketplace that lets you browse and download other Flipper apps directly over Wi-Fi. No computer needed. Your Flipper can now update and expand its own software library from anywhere with an internet connection. Feeling competitive? Check out Flip World, an open world 2D multiplayer game. You can create a character, fight stuff, level up, and see other players in real time. Yep, a live multiplayer game running on your Flipper connected to a server through Flipper HTTP. And for the power users, the tools get even crazier. A web crawler app lets you point your Flipper to a URL and download the raw HTML of a website. It's a powerful tool for on-the-go data gathering. There's also Flip Trader for tracking financial markets and Flip Weather for getting GPS and weather data. These apps are turning the Flipper from a niche gadget into a truly versatile connected device where the only limit is our imagination. This whole thing is a community project and it's constantly growing. The possibilities are expanding every single day. So now that you know what it can do, I've got a question for you. What's the first thing you would make your Flipper do with internet access? Would you build an app to track your pizza delivery? One that pings you when your favorite streamer goes live? Or maybe a tool that pulls data from a public vulnerability database? Drop your wildest, most creative, or just plain fun ideas in the comments below. For years, we've praised the Flipper Zero for mastering the physical world around us. But with Flipper HTTP, a whole new digital dimension has just been unlocked. We've gone from just reading signals to actually participating in the global network. It's probably the single biggest leap in functionality this device has ever had, turning it from a cool gadget into a serious, expandable platform. Of course, you've got to be smart about it. Connecting your flipper to the internet opens up incredible doors for learning and creating. Use these tools to explore and innovate, but always be ethical and respect privacy and the law. If this video opened your eyes to a new side of the flipper and you're excited as I am about its future, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you want to stay on the cutting edge of what this device can do, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for more. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.